balling on a budget like your boy. They have a variety of, oh yeah. Don't knock it till you try it. Look at this pondless waterfall. Got him. Check it out. <gasps> we have five koi. Aloha, my old Hana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and thank you guys for stopping by. Check it out, you guys are probably wondering where the heck I'm at. Well, I haven't been here for a while. It's been a long time since I stepped into Complete Ponds in Roseville, California. Now, if you haven't been to Complete Ponds and you live local, I mean, you don't even have to be local. I mean, you can be a couple hours away. It's well worth the drive. Everything and anything that has to do with ponds is in this store. They have everything in here from water features to pondless waterfalls to actual ponds. They have them set up in the store like this display behind me. Check it out. I love this spill bowl. Check out that spill bowl. They actually carry a beautiful variety of tropical plants for your ponds. Anywhere from water lettuce to water hyacinth to all these tropical plants that you can actually plant in your pond. And they have a beautiful selection of koi fish. Premium koi fish, standard koi fish, butterfly koi, a beautiful variety. Their pricing is reasonable. It is on point, especially if you're balling on a budget like your boy. Most important part is the entire staff here at Complete Ponds is extremely nice, extremely educated, and extremely helpful. Don't come in here thinking maybe you're gonna ask a dumb question or something like that. Don't worry, the staff here will help you out. My boy B is here, Mark, the entire staff. I'm telling you guys, this is the place. Complete Ponds. We're gonna check it out in here. I wanna show you guys around the store. As soon as you walk into the door, you're greeted by the sound of running water, pondless waterfalls, actual ponds inside their store. Look at this pondless waterfall. Beautiful setup too. And if you're interested, they actually build ponds too, okay? They sell everything here. They sell the pond kits. They actually can come to your home and build you a custom pond. I love this here. This is a little above ground pond. They have some fish in here. Looks like they have some goldfish in here, tiny ones. And then they have water hyacinth. They have water lettuce as well. I love this pond. Check this out. Beautiful pond. Look at these big koi in here. Look at them. They are not shy. Beautiful koi. I love what they did with that right there. That spill bowl. Look at that. Look how beautiful. What a nice piece to add to any existing pond. Look at that. This is inside the store, guys. I know I've been here and I've showed you I've showed you guys this before, but it's just beautiful. Look at that, nice running water. This is a beautiful scape too. Now as you walk through the store, you're greeted by these first two blue tubs right here. We got some premium koi for $60. And look at the variety, look at the colors. I don't know the names, I'm not a pro. It looks like got some genuine action, look at, yeah. Jinrin are the ones that have that, like those little speckles on the top. Like right there, they look like little jewels or little diamonds. It's a nice little variety, right? That's the premium koi. And they're premium koi, that's a pretty reasonable price, $60. Nice size, I would say they're about close to seven, eight inches. Butterfly, look at that butterfly. Ooh, beautiful. You guys know I love my butterfly koi. Check out this bin right here. This one here is considered standard koi, $26. It's a bad glare. Let me get a good angle for you guys. Here you go, look at this. Beautiful selection, variety. I like it. Ooh, I like that black and white one. That one's cool. They remind me of a cow. Look at that. Not bad for $26. And these are about, if I had to guesstimate, between four to six inches. That's what they look like. They have a variety of koi bins. All these here are fully stocked with koi. These are $32. Uh, they are a standard butterfly koi. Look how pretty. Love me some butterfly koi. Now, if you guys don't know what butterfly koi are, they are the koi that have the long fins, the pectoral fins, beautiful long tails. This one looks like a gold. Ooh. Ooh, 
that's a pretty one there. Ooh, some more. They're like uh, some more butterfly koi. You guys see any that catch your eye? These are all standard butterfly koi. $32 each. But I can't say it enough. One of my favorite koi. These are actually premium koi for $32. Let's see if I can get a good angle without that light. There we go. Get the light out of the way. Wow, beautiful colors, guys. Beautiful. I love the variety. They have such a great variety of koi to choose from. Oh, that's a nice one right there. He's a nice, healthy looking one. Not sure the names, so I'm sorry if I don't know the names. There's so many different names of koi. I just see them and like them. Ooh, I like that one there. It's a pretty color. Pretty orange. Ooh, this one looks pretty too. With the red head and the black and white spots. Or the white body with the black spots. Mm. This is where I actually got Kenshi, my butterfly koi who actually passed away. These are premium butterfly koi and they're $47 each, which is still a great reasonable price. They're a little bit bigger, but oh my gosh, the colors. Oh my gosh, I love the spots on some of these koi are so beautiful. This is what a premium butterfly koi looks like. Oh, look at that one there. It's like a, oh my gosh, it like shimmies. It's like got like a little shimmy to it. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. They also carry some Zarasa Comets and Shibukins. Looks like the stock is a little low, but we got a couple here. And we got a couple over here too as well. Ooh, let's go see what's in here. These are some more premium koi. $60, reasonable pricing. Love the variety, ooh. They all go to the bottom though. Ooh, that's a pretty one too, different. It's kind of got some orange in it with that silver. Ooh, I like this one too, this is nice. That white with the orange back with the little uh, black dot on it. Mmm, so unique. Oh, they got the EPDM pond liners. They have the underlayment too. Everything here, guys, to build a pond. They even have the steps here. Look it, right there, see? Build ponds. They sell everything here you need. Waterfall foam, spillways. They kind of give you a step-by-step -step lesson on how to build a pond, which is really cool. It's actually like a studio here in complete ponds, which is really cool. It's really sick. Look at that lighting there. Imagine that in your backyard. Listen to the sound. Here's the various skimmers. They even got aqua blocks here. Look at that. Nice setups, waterfall spillways. Everything here, they even have your plumbing. You guys need plumbing? They have all your plumbing here. Like I said, everything here to complete a pond. Hence the name, Complete Ponds. All right, you see this light here? Check this out, my boy B. He actually has a remote control in his hand right there and you can actually control it. Imagine being in your house. You know, people are coming over and you wanna flex on them, do a light flex, go ahead and <laughs> hit the remote, change the color up, change the mood. See, I told you guys, don't knock it till you try it. Complete Ponds in Roseville, California. Come on by, check it out. You're gonna fall in love with this store. Ooh, I also wanna show you guys something else. Check this out. All right, my Ohana, so you got an exclusive right now. B, let me come into this room. This room is extremely important. And this room here is the reason why I came here to get my koi. Check it out. <gasps> A huge above ground pool pond that they use to quarantine their fish. That's right, they quarantine their fish and medicate their fish for two weeks before they go into the blue tubs out there for sale to you guys. So not only are you getting a great quality koi, you're getting a healthy koi too as well. Check it out. It's gonna be hard to see, but check them out. So we gotta follow the rules, so please do not remove net. We won't. And look at all these beautiful koi that are in quarantine. It's more like a peace of mind. When you can come in here and purchase a koi knowing that it's been quarantined 
and safe and medicated that is awesome now I know you may be asking yourself right now Ohana so where do they get their koi from I'm gonna tell you guys where they get their koi from they get their koi from three different hatcheries one in Texas one in Pennsylvania and one in Southern California now these koi here are considered domestic koi now you got import and you got domestic. They're sort of like cars, right? An imported koi comes from Japan. That's imported here to the United States. Now once you have that imported koi from Japan here in the United States, you can breed it and have fry in the United States. Now all that fry is considered domestic. So it's not imported from Japan, you get it? I'm just giving you a little bit of 101 koi information, okay? And you can get a beautiful show quality koi here at Complete Ponds, and it's considered domestic. I mean, come on. Unless you're gonna show your koi at some fancy koi place or something, I can see why you would want an import, but I mean, beautiful koi. Nine out of 10 times people come over your house, they're like, oh, cool koi. All right, can I have a beer? They don't really care about if it's a championship bloodline koi. That's why I love this place to pick up koi. Beautiful selection, domestic over import. Who cares about that? I'm just telling you guys, you guys can see it. The proof is in the video. And not only that though, I'm gonna leave all of their links down in the description below. Go check them out, Complete Pawns, okay? I mean, you can read all the reviews on their Facebook page, all right? The books never lie. Go check them out, Complete Pawns on Facebook, all right? I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy, Chris Jennings. He is a part of the Ohana. I really appreciate his generosity. Now, he saw the video of when I lost the majority of my fish in Tiki Falls. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up above. Go check out the video. It's ex extremely sad, but you know, the power of the Ohana. I really appreciate you guys. No, you know what? I love my Ohana. You guys are so awesome. Now, Chris reached out to me and wanted to do something and buy me a new fish to put in Tiki Falls, which I so appreciate it, man. Chris, you made my day. I came here to Complete Ponds because they have a beautiful selection of koi at reasonable pricing too. So we're gonna go check out some of the koi that they have. Ooh, wait till you guys see these bad boys. But I just wanted to say huge shout out to Chris. I really appreciate it, brother. All right, my Ohana, it's time for us to pick up a beautiful, unique butterfly koi. Let's go. I'm gonna show you guys the professional way of choosing a koi when it comes to purchasing one here at Complete Ponds. My boy B is gonna go get us a viewing bowl. He's gonna net the one that I love. And we're gonna take a look at it up close and personal before we actually buy it. Here's my boy B, there's the viewing bowl right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look for some koi to choose and we're gonna put them in the viewing bowl and then we'll uh, make our decision. Okay, so let's check out this one here. It's that orange one that's swimming around in the corner. Jinrin kind of ish. Yeah, there you go. Let's put that one in the viewing bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a pretty one. Let's get this one right here, B. This little gold ish silver one right here at the bottom. Butterfly koi. Yeah, the long fins, the little guy. Got him. All right. We have five koi in here total. This one here is beautiful. This is uh, considered, a, I believe it's a Jinrin just because of those little speckles on the top. The same with that one there. See those speckles? Oh gosh, it looks like a bar of gold. That is a butterfly koi. This speckled one here, this Jinrin here is a butterfly koi. Um, I wanted to show you guys what a smooth or a scaleless, this is a scaleless koi. Pretty cool design though, right? Look at that, really cool looking. And then that feisty one, is this the feisty one, the little orange one right oh, yeah. there? Yeah, that dude's super feisty. Considered um, a Jinrin too as well, butterfly. Oh, so pretty. So these are the five that I chose, guys. I think three of them are considered the uh, premium, huh? It was just that scaleless one, that super bright Jinrin, and those are just $47 for the premium, and then $32 for the standard butterfly koi. So these are the five that I'm looking to choose to buy one. We're just gonna get one today. And you can see how little this little white Jinrin one is. I think I wanna go with one that's a little bit, little bit bigger. Ooh, gosh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I, I, know, I know I'm not gonna get the scale this one, so you can put that one back. Now I'm gonna do a little process of elimination, guys. So B's gonna put that one back. We're gonna, I'm not gonna get the little small silver one either. And we are going to choose one together, guys. All right, my Ohana. So these are the three that we have to choose from. We got this beautiful gold 
Butterfly Jinrin. Oh, I love the way that one looks. Imagine him in the sunlight. Oh my gosh. You talk about Shimmy Shimmy Cocoa Pop. Shimmy Shimmy Cocoa Pop. Yeah. And then you have this beautiful orange with the black spots and the Jinrin speckle. That's a beauty. Look at the fins on that too. Beautiful tail. Beautiful dorsal fin. Pectoral fins. Ooh, my goodness. And then you got this beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know, guys. It's like, do we go with gold or do we go with silver? That is the question. This silver one here. Oh, look at that. With the orange in it. But this gold one, just imagine when it gets bigger. It's going to look like a bar of gold swimming in Tiki Falls. <sighs> oh my gosh. Decisions, decisions. Oh. Look it, look it. All right, my Ohana, so I made a decision. It was super hard to make this decision, uh, but you guys are gonna have to wait till we get home, float them, acclimate them, and release them into Tiki Falls. And uh, another big shout out to my boy, Chris. Thanks again, brother. Without you, I couldn't have made this video, man. I appreciate all the love and support, and we'll see you guys back at the house. <gasps> Boom, we are home just like that. And behind me acclimating into Tiki Falls right there <gasps> is the new pickup. Now you guys are probably wondering, what koi did I pick up? Comment down below, guys. You guys let me know. Let's see how good you guys know me, all right? My Ohana. Tell me down below in the comments what koi I got. There was three to choose from, all right? Uh, let me show you guys how I'm acclimating them, all right? Check it out. Now, whenever I'm acclimating a new fish into Tiki Falls, I usually have a cup of water just like this and I will just slowly pour it into the bag just like that and slowly acclimate the fish now when it comes to acclimating my fish into Tiki Falls this is the process I use it takes about an hour like I said and it's about every five to ten minutes I'll pour a little cup of the pond water in the bag to help him get better acclimated to Tiki Falls. This process has worked. I've never had any casualties. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share what I do when I add fish to Tiki Falls. I'm so excited to show you guys. All right, Mohana. so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes or so. And it's about time to release our beautiful new koi into his new home. So without further ado, my Ohana, I introduce to you the newest koi added to Tiki Falls, Mr. Chris Jennings, that's his name. All right, my Ohana, look at this beautiful gold Jinrin butterfly koi. Oh, look how pretty. He's getting used to his new home, going over in the shade, checking it out. Beautiful. He'll probably swim into the cave where all the others are. Now look at all the algae in Tiki Falls, too. I left the algae long. Normally I take care of it. I'm leaving the algae long for the uh, fry that are in here so they don't get eaten by the other koi. If you guys don't know, koi are gangsters. Don't let them fool you. They'll pick off the fry. So he swam into cave with all the others down there. You can see them kind of poking their heads out. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Look at, there he is. Come on, buddy, come on out. Cruise around, see what you got here, see what you're working with. I'm just standing out here, this hummingbird coming to get a sip, maybe a little bath. This is the kind of wildlife that comes to your backyard when you have a pond. Look how he gets a drink. That is the coolest. All right, my Ohana, so down below, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new Jinrin Butterfly Koi. Huge shout out to Chris Jennings. I really appreciate it, Chris. He actually PayPal'd me the money to go get a new fish for Tiki Falls. I absolutely love it. Not only that though, a huge shout out to Complete Ponds over in Roseville, California. All of their links will be down in the description below. Big shout out to Mark, Brandon, Corey, the whole staff there, extremely nice. Go check them out. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.